and welcome to Personal Finance. I'm going to give you a brief introduction of the course and walk you around Blackboard a little bit. So to begin with, let's define what we're going to do in this course. So there's three main things that we're going to do. One is we're going to help you define your personal financial goals. Second, we're going to build your financial skills. And number three, we're going to create and implement your personal financial plan. In order to do this, we're going to have some assignments, right, that you have to complete. So there's going to be some weekly assignments you're going to have to do. The first set of weekly assignments are weekly reflection journal. So we see over here on the left in Blackboard, there's a reflection journal link. In order to create that journal entry, you're going to need to do it at, by the end of each week. You're going to go to here to this link, Weekly Reflection Journal. You can click on Create Journal Entry. And when you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to actually answer these five questions in that journal entry. And the main goal of this is to help us keep in contact. Some students that I do this with, if you're taking it online or um, independent study, then it's hard for me to understand how you're progressing in the course and how you feel about the course. So this reflection journal helps me do that. Also, in class, sometimes we may not uh, be able to you know, talk about your personal financial plan. And so I want you to be able to use this to let me know how you're doing and how you feel about the course, the time that you're spending on the course, and, and uh, overall how you feel your participation in the course is uh, coming along. Just so you know, so these are these reflection journals are just between you and me, right? So you're going to write them, you're going to be able to look back through them, and then I'm also going to look at them and uh, provide a grade. You're going to have ten of these throughout the term. If we're on a normal uh, fall, winter, spring term in the uh, summer, you're only going to have eight uh, if you're doing it during summer term. So, anyways, ten during the normal terms, uh, normal academic year and then really you're going to be able to get all of the points that are required from just doing these weekly. So these are pretty easy points. The next assignment that you're going to have in the course, uh, and these are ne aren't necessarily in order, right? So th these are things that you can do um, one before the other, whatever you want to do weekly. So another weekly assignment is to do the weekly content quiz. So they're lined out by chapter. Typically, we cover about a chapter a week. At the end of the course, we're going to be covering more than a chapter a week, or we're going to cover basically a broad topic within these chapters. You can take the quizzes as many times as you want, and as long as it's by the due date. The due date's going to be the end of the week. Take a look at the syllabus. The syllabus has all the due dates um, lined out, dates and times lined out for each of these assignments. And finally, the last thing you're going to need to do every week is a weekly check-in assignment. So the main assignment in the class is to do a personal financial plan. And in order to help you build up to that, there's a couple things that, we, that I want you to do. One of them is to do the check-in assignments. So the check-in assignments is right here. It's, you go through the personal financial plan link on the left. You hit the uh, weekly check-in assignments, PFP. PFP stands for Personal Financial Plan, right? And so we're going to go in there. There's 10 of these assignments. And the idea is you're going to do one a week. There's black and blue. So the black assignments are discussion board assignments. So you need to answer the question or give a, give a, a response to uh, the assignment, right, to the discussion. And then you're going to need to read your classmates post and respond. So you need to do both of these things in order to receive a grade in the class. You don't have to respond to everybody. Uh, they respond to at least one classmate or a couple. Uh, I need to at least have you do, uh, do your own thread. Right? So you're going to go in here to discussion. You're going to need to click create thread. Okay, So to create your own. So I need you to create a thread. Then I need you to go in here and look at uh, somebody else's thread, and I need you to reply to their thread. So read it and reply. And um, really the only thing that I deduct points on this is if you 
really don't put any effort into it. So if your reply is, oh, good idea, that's not going to be a big enough reply. I want you to actually give them some feedback that will help them, right, the classmate, or uh, a little more substantial than just your your first thought as you read the their post. So anyways, uh, that's the weekly assignments. Reflection journal, weekly quiz, and then the weekly check-in assignment. Let's go back to the check-in assignments real quick. So we, the discussion posts were, were one. Those are the black ones. Every other week, you're going to also need to do an actual assignment. And so what that is, is you actually need to put some documents together, possibly a picture. I have you do some selfies just to prove that you went and did something that I need you to do for the class. And I need you to take those files and submit them through these blue links here, so the assignment links. So what you need to do to do that is you need to browse your computer and attach either pictured pictures or Word documents or PDFs, those type of things, to uh, and then submit uh, those documents for your assignment. So those, those are the weekly check-in assignments. The last thing that we need to do in this course, right, is to do the actual personal financial plan. Doing the check-in assignments is going to help you because that's going to follow part of what you need to do for the for your plan. Uh, the other thing that I want you to do is to look at more resources and have use some of the resources that are laid out there. Typically, developing a personal financial plan is a six-step process. You're going to need, going to, need to decide, decide what you value. You're need, going to need to evaluate your, your financial health. The assignments that you do every week is going to help you do this, right, as you do them. Three, step three, define your personal and financial goals. Step four is to develop a plan of action. So that's actually deciding, okay, this is how I'm going to, this is how I'm going to accomplish my goals, my financial goals. Uh, the goals should be related to how you, what you value in life, right? If you like horses, for example, you're going to maybe make some goals related to horses and, and your hobby for horses or your job for horses. If you value maybe going on vacation with your family, you're going to put that as a goal and you're going to, to maybe make a financial goal on that and you're going to make a plan of action to get that done. Uh, if you value retirement, you want to have retirement further out in life, right? you're going to be doing setting these things. So the goals are going to be based on your values and your actions are going to be based on your goals and values as well. Evaluate your financial health. This is where the financial skills come in place. We're going to do some assignments and things that will help you calculate your net worth, calculate uh, some of the weaknesses that you may have in your personal financial health and where you might need to fix some things that you're not currently doing. So, And then, of course, you're going to implement your plan. We're going to make budgets. We're going to teach you how to do a budget. And uh, then you're going to revise your plan as you work through it, right? So this class is only, you know, three months long. So we're not going to get to go through a lot of budgets, a lot of expense tracking. Uh, but, so we'll, but we'll try to help you build your plan up. So as you build your plan, I hope you bounce it off of me. Send me an email with your, your draft, right? Say, hey, Mr. Bell, how is this coming along? Show me in class. Say, hey, Mr. Bell, I've got this together. How does this look for my personal financial plan? So bounce it off me. I don't want you to have any surprises when I grade you finally for your final plan, right? So if I take points away, I want you to know maybe that that, that was something you needed to improve upon, right? So that you could spend the time on it and improve it. If you don't ask me, you'll never know that. So this is uh, also... Okay, doing the personal, the, the weekly check-ins. We're also going to work on this green link. So there's a worksheet download that you can download, and it's going to have a lot of the information you're going to need for your personal financial plan. Click on this green link. Download all the worksheets. Start working on them. If you have questions about them, let me know. We're going to do a lot of this for in-class items. We're going to work on these worksheets in class. And then finally, at the very bottom, personal financial plan instructions and rubric. This gives you a format for the personal plan, a rubric, an idea of what I'm going to be looking at to grade the personal financial plan. And so that's what personal finance is all about. We're going to have hopefully some, if you're taking the live class, some visitors so we can have um, some 
financial professionals come and talk to us about what they think is helpful for people who are planning for the future. And um, I'm excited to have you in the class. Feel free to contact me anytime, email, phone. Uh, it's all in the syllabus. Uh, you can come by my office during office hours or schedule an appointment and I'll make a, make a time to, to meet with you. We can meet in person or over the internet vir using virtual office. So let me know and we'll I'll help you out. I'd love to help you if you have any questions. Have a good day. Bye.